The wait is finally over. The offseason is gone. Part two of our Daytona double. The season opener for the NASCAR Xfinity Series. 120 laps, 300 miles, opening stage, 30 laps. The rookie in the outside lane, pole sitter Jesse Love. Off we go from the World Center of Racing. And outside lane getting a good start here. Yeah, we're approaching halfway of this stage, and it's uh, the single file right now. I'm trying to figure out who is the one that's going to make the line to make it double file to see if they can score stage points. Well, we saw John Hunter be the first one to yeah. jump out to the bottom, but he's fallen in line here. It'd be a difficult. You're going to need two or three guys to go with you. you need a. They'll be more. They'll be more apt to do it later in the stage. They won't do it in the middle because they don't want to get hung out. There'll be 13 to go this time by. I think everyone needs to exercise some patience, you know? First 10 laps were calm. Now they're starting to get with it as we head to the final third of stage one. That Sam Mayer down there on the bottom? It is. All yeah. by himself. He tried. Yep, nothing there. Those guys that are outside the top 10 are just trying anything they can to get that bottom line going, but so far they just had to give it a shot and then bail. You can see still three guys down on the bottom with by Riley Herbst trying it out, trying to get there. And we've got nine to go to the end of the stage. I just, I'm not sure if we'll see anybody, maybe some of the guys that are not running for points to duck down pit road and maybe get a little bit of fuel and line up on the restart up front. There we go. And we have our first caution of the uh, night. Oh, it's going to oh, be Sam Mayer in that one. Well, there's another purse truck car involved. That is not good. Kyle Weatherman, the 91. Trying to figure out how those other two cars got caught up in that. It looked like the white car. Is that Haley Gregan? Is that Haley? I thought it was the 15. Is it? Yes, yeah, it, it is. is. Uh oh. Yeah. It looked like a big stack up, really. Yeah, and yeah. Daniel got out of the gas, and whoever was right behind Daniel didn't didn't see the stack up or didn't get the word. And there's Haley. Running into the back of the Wendy's car. And this restart comes with exactly one lap remaining in the stage. Love outside of Hill. Nice push there by the five of Anthony Alfredo right in the back of Hill. Custer got tires outside lane trying to make it three wide to end the stage. Love looks good oh outside goodness. lane. Back to the start finish line. It's close. Photo finish to end the opening stage. That's about as close as the qualifying round was. They were three thousandths apart in qualifying. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think that was any further. You agree? Too close to call. That was incredible. Here is our stage one winner, Jesse Love. Starts on the pole. The drivers that pitted under caution at the end of the stage will restart from 14th on back up front. Those that came prior to stage in front row: A.J. Allmendinger, Justin Allgaier. This could get very dicey. Nice push there on the outside. You see Riley Herbst right on the back of A.J. Allmendinger. And look at Blaine Perkins, the blue car inside lane, driving that 29 <laughs> full time. Oh, there, goes. there goes Jesse Love. I was worried about that. Third caution of the night. Nima check involved. Allmendinger, Austin Hill. I did not Daniel like the died. situation he was in. And now he got Austin Hill caught up in it. I don't know if he's got any damage. Or I not. don't think any damage for Austin Hill. Yeah, the 20 turned hard, hard left. He got into my... Doesn't look like anybody hit anything very hard. Bounced off each other and slid through the grass. But if you were to make a list pre-race of contenders for the win, a whole bunch of them a lot caught of them. up right there. And it went yeah. wrong right there. Was that John Hunter that looked was... like John Hunter, yeah. Just, just a little bit too much of a push. You know, they're trying to make that center lane surge and they almost have to be touching each other, you know, bump drafted so they can make that happen. And uh, man, it just the cars are not quite stable enough for that. Allgaier shoots through on the inside. He's side by side with Custer now. Retzloff in the middle. Somebody shoots out of line. I think Allgaier. It is Allgaier. I thought he. I saw smoke. I couldn't figure out what happened. Oh, and here comes. Took off right there. Oh, I got a flat though. Smithley in the six. 
I think he tried to side draft and just slid up too high. Oh, yeah, he just tried to get up, be aggressive with that side draft, and it just it carried him up there just quicker than he thought. I think so. Yeah. Good job, though, controlling that car, spinning it around and keeping it off that inside wall. Do you expect these veterans like Allgaier to, to you know, make better decisions? We're only 40, what, 45 laps into a, you know, 100 lap race, 120 lap race. Not the time to be that, that aggressive with that move. That thing jumped up there awful quick, though, didn't it? We have an early candidate for the save of the night, I'll tell you. I like Pretty that. good. They've got a him together pretty good right now. Looks okay. Yeah, that, that pit crew is, is filled with some guys that are real mechanics. They know how to fix a race car and do it quick. Got uh -oh. another spinner. That's Nima check. Oh, Josh okay. Berlicki, 92. Yeah, looks like he got the worst of that. Big time damage. Fifth caution of the evening comes out 10 to go in our second stage. Yep. Looks there like goes the left right rear there. tire. Yep. Like he did a pretty good job not to do any more damage to the car. Wow. Got lucky, too. Oh, and just contact there into the back of the 92. Off turn two. Ryan Truex is in there. Chandler Smith, Brandon Jones. Allgaier was there. Looks like he might want to slide out a little bit. Yeah. I don't like the looks of that line. Austin Hill trying to hang on and win stage two. That's a nice block right there. Just and he's going to do it. That was, that was a good job for Austin Hill. That was awesome. He's been a stage winning machine. Watch him trying to stop it when he gets there. Too much speed. Can't stop in the pit box. But what they're, they're, they're shooting for an RPM number on the tack, and there's lights to indicate when they are in that zone. Uh, of that speed and he had it in third gear instead of second gear second is the is the gear that they're you know they set that rpm target too much speed not enough uh not enough brake action there riley herps continues to lead he's up in front of his teammate cole custer john hunter nemechek involved in a crash early tonight has been a lap down on two different occasions in fact not only did he get caught up in a crash he had a tire go down spun out but here he is in this lead draft as we set through this cycle of green flag pit stops. Just too much momentum to try to hold that off. Oh, uh oh. Hurts tried to block, block Truex, couldn't do it. That usually doesn't work well. Toyota's firing through. Up high, it's Truex. Down low, it's Chandler Smith. Herps coming back strong on the middle. And he's got his teammate right behind him. That's Cole Custer in the double zero. Look at this pack. Nice little story there with Ellis leading oh, this race. Oh, we got a storm brewing right here. And now we got a mess on the back. Chandler Smith in the 81, pushing Riley Herbst in the 98. Two aggressive young drivers full of talent. Sparks flying. It's time to race. This is fun, isn't it? I'm not sure I can take it for 32 <laughs> more laps. This is crazy. This pack's about 23 seconds behind those leaders that are running single file. This is synchronized driving. You wow. can't imagine. I how, don't know how they've survived this long. I don't. I can't explain to folks at home how difficult this is. 185, 90 miles an hour with the wind buffeting all over you. You've got to be on top of your game, and these guys are. Well, we go for it. Riley Herb sliding to the inside. Looked like a little side wrap there off of Ryan Sieg and debris on track we've got our eighth caution and we got more than than debris look at this Jeb Burton again oh look at that looked like Parker Redslop and Jeremy Clements were arguing over space and Honeyman got the worst of the deal We've seen that a handful of times tonight where it's just, I mean, we're talking about no more than a foot or so that these guys could cut, cut each other a break and not cause these, but uh, we've had quite a few cautions because of it. He's uh, just got a nose for the lead, pushing Jordan Anderson in that red, white, and black number 32. The seas have parted. Here they come. Custer making a move to the outside of Ryan Sieg. Gives a good hand signal here. He might be able to get out this of the way. Is, this is going to wow. be really tough to pull off. Just watch. Here's your push. Go oh, bottom no, of the lane. Uh, 
His teammate slapped the wall, and there goes Sage Karam. Oh, yes. Another crash at Daytona. Justin Allgaier hopping through the grass. What a mess is right, Andy. Just too, that's just too hard. You can't hit somebody from behind that hard. I know you need to be pushing and shoving to try to get some momentum, but that was just uh, no way to kind of survive that. Yeah. There are a lot of guys that did a great job sliding through there. Jesse Love. Jesse Love. There's Daniel Dye spinning in the 10 car. Wayne Perkins slipping through. They've got some steam. Look at them come. Uh oh. Everybody's juking and jiving down that back stretch. Ryan Sieg hopped into the outside lane. Chandler Smith jumps up there. Big advantage for Jordan Anderson. Is he too far out front? Yeah, yes. This could work against him right here. Yes, he's got to roll off the gas. There goes Austin Hill. Outside lane, drafting help from Chandler Smith. Austin Hill in front of his old teammate, Sheldon Creed. Yeah, Sheldon Creed's hungry for a win. Uh-oh. There goes Ryan Sieg. To that, that might do it. Caution would end it. So, no yellow. No green. yellow. Still no green. yellow yet. Austin Hill out in front of Sheldon Creed. Nobody's going to be able to get there yet here. Five back 18. No yellow. What an advantage on the final lap at Daytona. Sheldon Creed going to do it again. The Georgia drivers got the hat trick at the World Center of Racing. Austin Hill gets it done. That's crazy. He has won three of these in a row. Austin Hill able to win Big the country. race. Big country, come on. Look at that emotion. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.